Good morning. It's Friday, April 15th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Exalted and Lifted Up, and our scripture is Isaiah chapter 52 and 53. See, my servant shall prosper, he shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of mortals, so he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him, for that which they had been told them they shall see, and that which they had not heard they shall contemplate. Who has believed what we have heard, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity, and as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities, Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that is before its shear is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice he was carried away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked, and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured himself out to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. The images of Good Friday hardly look like the promotional ceremony when one is being lifted to an exalted status. It looks a whole lot more like the essence of grief and brokenness. And so it was for everyone who knew him. The high priest and his evil cohorts had accomplished their mission of stifling the upstart preacher from Galilee. Victory was theirs, and there was probably more than a few cups of wine hoisted in celebration toasts that night. But that was Friday. The promotional celebration of a massive rock door holding down the dream of God's promises would wait to begin early Sunday morning. It would be a rough start, with the chief dreamers confused and frightened, and the chief supporter mistaking the Son of God for the cemetery caretaker. But the celebration would take place, despite soldiers and all the demons of hell guarding that tomb. And it's still going on. For you today. It will be a somber service at most churches tonight for followers of this exalted and lifted up one. The observance will call up images of his pain and brokenness for our sin. We will feel the aloneness and barbarity of it all. And yet, as we leave the meeting in silence, the essence of the Holy One, exalted and lifted on high, will paint hope and expectation with a broad brush. It will be a good Friday. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.